Hi, this is John from Two Doves Bees and Gardens. I want to welcome you to my bee yard. Hey, good afternoon. This is John from Two Doves Bees and Gardens. And today we're going to do a checkup on our uh, swarm to honey uh, production, our swarm trap to honey production hive. Um, I had a peek at these girls a couple days ago, and you're probably hearing all kinds of birds behind me. They're just cackling all up. But anyway, um, we're going to do a checkup. I did take a peek at them the other day, and I wasn't too thrilled. Um, I've known from the beginning that uh, you know swarm traps and swarm bees that you catch in swarm traps um, that aren't from your own yard specifically um, it can be problematic. You never know what you're going to get, and uh, could be an old queen. They could have been a virgin queen. You know, it's it's hard to say. You don't know what the genetics are, and uh, the uh, the truth is, I don't know what we're going to find in here. Um, they could have uh, tried to draw a new queen. Um, they may be completely queenless. When I looked in here um, last, it was kind of disappointing. Um, I know even from the beginning, I thought maybe we might have had a virgin queen. I thought I was seeing some eggs and larvae. Um, and uh, the, uh, you know, it was, you might have noticed me even looking at the uh, previous, in the previous uh, inspections, it's like just taking a time, and it shouldn't take that much time to know that there are eggs and larvae in a hive. Um, our larvae should stand out pretty dramatically, and I just wasn't seeing uh, too many uh, to begin with. So we're gonna open them up, and we're gonna take a look. Um, and depending on what we find, we may end up doing a newspaper combine. Um, I know I've got a, a nuke that's got a brand new queen in it, and worst case, yeah, we'll, we'll give these girls a new queen and we'll continue our series. But, you know, I wanted to be up front and let you know that, you know, there's definitely uh, some opportunity for uh, something a little different here. Um, just looking at the front here, I'm hearing the bees, so that's good. I'm not seeing too many bees. I can give them a little smoke. Again, just kind of saying, hey, I'm here. And uh, let's pop them open and let's see what we get. I'm going to go ahead and put this inner cover back on. I'm going to grab another frame and uh, then we're going to do a newspaper combined. Lock them up just like that for now. I'm just going to put my high pull over the top. And I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay. Well, I'm back and I've got a, an additional tin. This will be frame that we'll go ahead and put into this hive. Not that they need more space. I just don't want to create a, a cavity there where I took that feeder out. And I don't know if you have watched any of my other, any of my other videos, but I marked my frames with an arrow for the direction of the honeycomb. And uh, some people may be mystified by that statement, but um, uh, plastic foundation, um, I've been told and taught that it has a direction to it and I might take some time to explain that at some point and uh, share what that what that looks like um, at this point I'm gonna go ahead and grab a uh, newspaper a piece of paper and call it newspaper combined in this case it's gonna be a, a brown piece of paper combined Get these girls back down, and I'm also gonna grab a medium and put that up here. And it's got five medium frames in it right now. And the other five, the other five empty spaces will be taken up 
from the five frame nuke that we're going to give them. Ah, my newspaper, so to speak. Just going to throw this on top. And mostly all this is is a way to introduce one colony to another in a slow release fashion. I'm just going to put just a couple of holes in here, very small, just to give the girls a head start. So this is a little thicker paper. I'll tear off the excess when I'm done. But for now, this will work. Okay. Paper up here, where it goes away. It's much here, or paper goes away, is what I'm trying to say. I'm just kind of feeling my way along here just to keep the box stuck correctly. And for now, we'll just put this on top. And it's uh, pretty much closed up at this point. Um, now I'm going to go pick up a, uh, a nuke that I've got over here that uh, when I last looked on it had a queen, a brand new queen, uh, mated and we're going to introduce them, uh, introduce her to this uh, colony, this swarm that we captured and uh, we'll get them on their way. I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back with you, and I've brought over a, a five frame nuke there, and it had medium frames, and I just opened it up and verified there's a nice fat queen in there, and she is laying. She came from another hive, the, well, the genetics, uh, came from another hive, um, and I think she was, oh, uh, I think not a bee weaver. She might have been a uh, Texas bee supply. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I buy queens from uh, different places. Anyway, she's beautiful, really golden, really fat. Um, and she's doing a great job laying up in that nuke and the mediums. And she's going to be thrilled to have some more space um, in this hive that we've been doing our swarm trap to honey production in. Um, I don't know if this is what you would consider this cheating, uh, but I wanted to be real with you. Um, sometimes, being beekeeping, you, you have to be prepared. Some things work out, some things don't. Um, and you can never say with bees, you know, they, they have a mind of their own, so to speak. Um, some might call them uh, of one mind. It's, they're always out for the best of the colony, I, I think. Um, and no matter what I do, uh, I can only do my best. And, uh, and I don't know what happened with, uh, if there was a queen, I'm assuming that there was a queen in the swarm that we captured. Um, if she just didn't make it or uh, if she was there and, and maybe I did something, I didn't you know, find any evidence that I created a problem myself. But you know, again, like I said, I can only do my best and uh, sometimes my best isn't good enough. <laughs> um, that's the same for all of us. I didn't really need to smoke that because there is nothing up here except for some frames. Um, just so you know, I'll show you there's a little tiny, tiny bit of drawn comb up here. Um, again, you know, just a tiny, tiny bit of drawn comb. Again, a little bit of a little bit of wax on each side of the frames. Um, here's a wax foundation that they're gonna uh, draw on. I think I might actually move that to the middle. Um, here's another one that's got a little tiny bit of wax on it, and I might move that in uh, next to this one just to give them uh, more more resources, uh, less work they have to do um, from the center out. And let's put these girls up. 
And we're going to go ahead and knock that girl in there. There's this one on the top of the frame. And these girls are going to get a new house, a new home. Again, you'll see that this is a, a medium frame that I pulled out of uh, uh, to do a split. And uh, I've heard a presentation, oh, probably a year, year and a half ago, about uh, managing uh, your bees, having an emergency nuke available at any any time, managing your apiary through through nukes. And there's a lot of wisdom in that. Uh, maintaining a, a, a nuke and split every once in a while, grow your own queens um, to take care of emergencies that you might have in your your apiary, your bee yard. Again, just a medium frame. The queen was on this frame when I looked at it a minute, a minute ago. Um, I'll bring this over and show you. I don't see the queen on this frame now, but in the center. You can, if it'll focus in there, I'll have to look at this later to see if it's picking it up. But there's some larva. So the queen is in here and she's laying it up. She's doing a good job. And we'll just move this frame in. The exact same orientation and spot that it was in the noose. Check this next frame, see if the queen might have transitioned over here towards the center. I would really like to see her again. Lots of larvae in here. I'm not seeing uh, the queen yet and again i may not you know many times i don't you know absolutely have to see the queen i'm looking for eggs and larvae and this has lots of larvae um just double checking for some eggs on the outside of that larva uh, she's got this frame laid up really nicely put this in back in the girls all know each other. I thought I might have seen the queen already because I knew which frame she was on. Oh, I think I see her. Let me just pull this frame out. Let me see if this was her that I saw. Yep, here she is. She's crawling right here. We're going to go ahead and get her into this box. Just the opportunity to get her in. The girls won't miss her so much. And this is the last frame. We've got some pollen and some nectar. They've got the resources they need to be successful. And uh, now that we're doing the, the combine, they'll have some more bees that they can help. Um, to grow their their colony out there's a couple bees left in uh, the box here not too many but i'm going to go ahead and see if i can coax them out set them upside down here for a second see if maybe they'll march their way down into the hive because once I close them up they won't uh, have another way into the, the colony until they chew their way through and I want to get as many bees as I can into this colony 